small soldiers. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege Micromaster Direct Hit and Power Punch. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As usual, in the background, we have some uh, assemblage going on. Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy. Oh, up top, we have Direct Hit and Power Punch. Some nice artwork going on there. They are. Micromaster on the bottom, barcodes, things, stuff. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. The Decepticon Battle Squad. That's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Direct Hit and Power Punch. Some more Micromasters in this Siege line. So this is Direct Hit, this is Power Punch. And first we will take a look at direct hit here and as you can see he's a little armored vehicle so you got some nice silver going around for the windshields and windows you get some little yellow there for the lights i got some little spots of silver as well got the little guns molded up top a little bit of blue going on in there as well you see he's got little wheels little baby wheels and there's the back and there's the bottom it does roll kind of sort of sort of kind of but there you have direct hits. And here we have Power Punch. That's another armored vehicle there. Big old cannon that can raise up and down. And you do have some silver right up front. Again, a bit of molded detail. Some of that blue in there as well. These little wheels in the back. Got some thrusters going on there. As you understand, you do have visible head syndrome, kind of, sort of. You can't turn his head around. It's just that there's not a whole lot of real estate here. You can't really get a good grip on it. You can. His head does turn. You're supposed to turn it around. I just, it's just more trouble to get it turned around than it's worth, really. But his head can turn. You can turn around if you want to, just like with this guy. So, yeah. Whatever. It is what it is. But there you have Power Punch. And for comparison, uh, you know what? We're just gonna bring in the whole uh, whole MicroMaster army here. There we go. We got these guys. We got these guys. These guys too. These two. We got all of them. And I'll raise you some cassettes. There you go. <laughs> there you have all of our MicroMasters so far. So one thing you can do with these guys, and I really like this, is they do have a combined vehicle mode, and you have this post right here on direct hit that you just flip down, and you plug it right into the front of Power Punch, and you get this going on, and I really like that. I think that looks cool. I dig that. I really dig that. You can have that going on. And of course, you can see there's a cannon there that is effects parts compatible, and you can just plug this right on here, and he can bloosh! He can bloosh. Lots of blooshing. Lots of blooshing. You know, hey. And if you want, you do have those kind of like, you know, thrusters in the back. You can even use like these little smaller effects parts. Plug them back here. You can have a rocket powered armored vehicle here. Sometimes it's hard to get these plugged in. There we go. You can totally do that. And, you know, again, blooshing, blooshing to be had. Bloosh, can totally do that, can totally do all kinds of that. And of course, it does have the, uh, the, the, the weapon mode, and to transform it into its weapon mode, you just uh, flip it upside down, and there it is. There's the weapon mode. That is really it. That, that is really it. And if you want, you can... Bring in any of your figures, anything with a 5mm port can hold it. We'll bring in Screamer to be our model. You can just plug it in like that. There you go. Just a big old cannon that Screamer can hold. And if you want, we can bring in the effects parts again. Well, we can't use this part. We'll have to condense them a little bit here. But, you know, you can kind of plug one here. You can plug one there like that. And, you know, you can get a big old double blue. <laughs> All kinds of blushing. All, 
all kinds of bleaching. Gonna be bad. Hey! Fun. So that is basically it for the vehicle mode, so let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Hey! Let's get some good spins out of these guys. So let's split them in half, and we'll flip this up, and first we will transform a uh, direct hit. We'll transform him. Very simple. You just take this section here, take all this, this whole front section, just flips around like so. These sections flip up like that to make heels. This one's very stiff. There we go. Put those back like so. And then you just bring the little arms out and down. We turn your little head around. Boop. Boop. And there you go. There you have direct hits in his robot mode. Uh, and it's a nice looking little robot. I do quite like his design. I think he looks pretty, pretty cool. And yeah, we're getting close here so we can take a look at that face sculpt. You see, you got some nice paint there. It's kind of like an orangey paint there. For the mouth plate, for the eyes, the Decepticon symbol right there on his belly. You get a little bit of purple in there as well on the chest. You can see, little hands molded in. Oh no, I think this works pretty, pretty well, in my opinion. I like him. I like the little guy. As far as articulation goes, he had. Can rotate the arms on a ball joint. They can rotate to a full 360. They can move in and out. You can also use that transformation joint as well if you want the shoulders to move up and down. Uh, legs can go forward that far, back that far, outward that far. Get a little bit of rotation at the ball joint itself. Knees, you can get 90 degrees of bend, or if you move that down, you can get even more. So there is. Get him standing again. There is direct. Hit. And now we will move on to Power Punch and the Transform Power Punch. You just take the section here, bring that down to form his legs, split said legs, and then again we just bring the arms out and down. You just tab in right in there. Bring the arms out and down. On top. There we go. Does tab in quite securely. Bring it out and down like so. And there you have. Power Punch in his robot mode. And I quite like his design also. I dig it. I dig it. Let's get in close here. Again, so we can take a look at that head sculpt. You can see the face there done in yellow. Septicon symbol right there on the chest. A little bit of like a gray going on there in the chest as well. Yeah, little hands just molded in. There you go, legs. On the back. And you can, if you want, uh, remove the little cannon here. It's just on some mushroom pegs. You just kind of... It's not easy to get out, but you can get it out. Just takes a little bit of... Just, just takes a little bit. takes a lot, actually. Just, just, there we go. Just pop that out. <laughs> like so. And if you want to, you can kind of plug it up there. Have that going on. You know, that could be a thing you can do. If you want to do it, you can pew, pew, bang, bang. Pew, pew, bang, bang. You know, hey, all things you can do. If you want to do it. Hey, do what you want. Just, just, just do what you want. But they, I put it on backwards. I put it on backwards. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you, you know, you do know. Don't act like you don't, because you do. There we go, like that. There we go. Ah. Okay. Anyway, now as far as articulation goes, again, uh, his head can. Turn, it is turnable. It's just kind of a pain in the butt to turn it, so I just don't. Um, again, arms are on a ball joint. Again, rotate. Again, move in and out. Again, you can use that transformation hinge as well. Get some upward and downward movements. And legs forward, that far, back, only that far, outward, that far. Again, you get a little bit of rotation at the ball joint itself. And the knees, kind of do 90 degrees. And that is basically it there. So there you have that, and now for comparison. Again, I'll just bring in the, uh, the whole little army that I have here. You, this one doesn't like to stand. You stand, you stand, because it's normal. Thank you, thank you. We'll bring in these guys too. You're probably not going to see them all, but we're going to bring them all in anyway. Whether they want to stand or not, we'll try to get a better shot. We'll try. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll try. 
I can't promise anything, but I'll try. I'll bring these guys and the Boyds. There we go. There you have these two. Oh, cool, cool. So there you have the little MicroMaster Army so far. So there you go. Ah! So there you have the hits of direct and the punch of power. And uh, yeah, there's some nice little figures. These little MicroMaster dudes are fun. They're easy to troop build. You can use them as weapons for your bigger bots. So again, just, you know, ups the playability. Just some fun little figures going on here. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Siege toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Siege playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers the Siege MicroMaster Direct Hit and Power Punch. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Pull in your face. Is anyone else as tired as I am? Jeez! <sighs> Warring ain't easy. Anything we can do for you, boss? Yeah, anything we can do. Uh, I wish they let me throw you, but I, uh, I just don't feel like it right now. Wouldn't be fun, though. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun, boss. Yeah, lots of fun. You know what? Just, just go do something useful. No! All right, yeah, doing something useful. Doing something useful, boss. What exactly would that be, boss? What exactly would that be, boss? Something that doesn't involve annoying me and making me kill you. We'll do that, boss. Okay, we'll do that. But Megatron... Yes, Megatron's butt is on you. Now pipe down! I'll give you back to your people when I'm good and rusted.